Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for Heart of God by Zach Williams. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. In addition, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. All right, grab your acoustic guitar and a capo and let's get started. All right, so you'll notice my capo is on the first fret we're gonna be playing in the key of, I believe, a Dorian and I don't want to get a debate of what kind of mode it's actually in it's kind of like the revelation song debate but here are the chords you're definitely going to need to know to play the song E minor D A G and B minor so those are the chords you need. Let's talk about how I'm actually playing those chords. Let's start with E minor. You can technically use your index finger or middle finger or middle finger and ring finger as a combination, but we're gonna start with the easier one. Use your index finger on the A string, second fret, and your middle finger on the D string, second fret also, and you get to strum everything. And if you were to use your middle finger and ring finger, your middle finger now is on the A string, second fret, and your ring finger is on the D string, second fret also just a different way to play it. For the D chord, put your index finger on the G string, second fret, ring finger on the B string, third fret, and the high E string is covered with your middle finger on the second fret. And you have to avoid the low E and A strings for this. This is the D chord. For the A chord, you can choose to do the three finger version, which I actually like to do for this song. Put your index finger, middle finger, and ring finger all on the second fret, covering the D, G and B strings, and you have to avoid strumming the low E for this, so it's the A string on down. For the G chord, put your middle finger on the third fret, low E string, index finger A string, second fret, and ring finger and pinky go on the third fret for the high E and B strings. You get to strum everything for this. Now last but not least, the B minor. I actually like to use the barred chord version for this. So you're gonna have to bar the A string on down on the second fret using your index finger, and then put your middle finger on the B string, third fret, with your ring finger and pinky covering the D and G strings of the fourth fret. You don't have to strum the low E string. If you were to do the regular B minor version, you wouldn't have to bar anything with the index finger, but you would have to press the high E string down on the second fret, but keep all the other fingers the same. Doesn't sound as full to me, but you can do whatever floats your boat. So that about does it for chords. Keep in mind that this is a very keyboard driven song and the acoustic doesn't really come in until after the first chorus. So I'm gonna use a little bit of liberty, at least in the first half of the song. But after that first chorus, that's when the strumming really happens. So get ready, here we go. E minor, D, A. E minor, D, G, B minor, A. G, B minor, A. G, B minor, A. G, B minor, A. E minor, D, A. E minor, D, A. G, B minor, A. G, B minor, A. E minor, D, A. E minor, D, A. E minor, D, A. 
E minor D A G E minor A G E minor A E minor D A Well, everyone, I hope that I was able to help you out with that tutorial. So let's talk about some strumming patterns and actually what I'm doing at the beginning of the song. So I'm basically focusing my thumb on the lowest string it can play for each chord and then putting my index finger and middle finger and sometimes my ring finger on the other strings that are within that same chord. So for example, E minor starts the song. I have my thumb on the low E string. My index finger is on the D string. Middle finger G and ring finger is on the B. So that is the first thing that I do for the song is just those strings and really just the E minor shape and the left hand, nothing else. And then I have the D chord. My thumb has to move down to the D string and my index finger and middle finger are going to pluck the G and B strings. I'm not gonna do the high E string though because I feel like it's just a little too much. And then the A chord. My thumb goes down to the low A string, my index finger goes to the D string, and then middle finger G and ring finger B. So all together. Maybe you can come up with something better, but remember, this is the keyboard's time to shine, so we don't want to step on toes. The next thing is actually when the guitar comes in. Now, when I listen to the recording, it's actually on the chorus, and it seems that the acoustic is just strumming whole notes. So here's the chorus starting on E minor. That's basically it, and then you switch over to G, B minor, and A. Now after that first chorus, there is a turnaround, and it sounds like this. Now that's what I'm doing. It's not exactly what's in the recording, but it's pretty close. Take a look, we have the E minor, D, and A chord progression again. And the number one thing is I'm waiting to change chords on the offbeat, and number two is I'm not over strumming here. So take a listen one more time. It's really the last chord that gets the most strums. So once again, E minor, down, D, A. It's just the that you really have to worry about. And finally, once the song is really big and everybody's in, this is the chorus and this is the strumming pattern that I'm using second time around. So watch how I kind of wait to change to that A chord. There's that little chunk that I put in there and that's not necessarily, again, what's in the recording, but it has that nice feel and that nice touch because there is that syncopation there. There isn't any syncopation on the bridge though, so be careful except for the second progression of chords. So when the acoustic is played this way, E minor, D, A. 
the second time is E minor, D, A, just like it would normally through the song. So after that second line of chords, the G, B minor, A, twice in the bridge is actually on the downbeat. So just be aware of that when you're playing in a band. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Again, thanks so much for your support. I really feel blessed. God truly has blessed this channel and I really appreciate all the comments and all the likes and all the views. I really appreciate it and it's all for his glory. So thanks again for watching. Hope to see you soon. All right, God bless.